Next up is Your Love Is Alright and the solo starts like this. <laughs> on the uh, it's around the A minor pentatonic position here fifth to seventh fret uh, on the D string you play hammer on from the fifth to the seventh fret and then on the fifth fret on the G string you play it twice uh, that's the phrase so Play the same thing twice there, and then uh, the third time you play it, or well, uh, the fourth time actually, you end end with a bend on the uh, G string on the seventh fret. Like that. So it's, it's a real simple lick to open a solo with. plays that exact thing, those four times he plays that, plays that once again. Um, and he adds sort of uh, those kind of slides sometimes, you have to listen to the, to the recording to if you want to get them right. Sort of like that. And that's the, uh, as I said, he plays that, those phrases twice. Then it goes over to the next lick here. And that's a nice lick. So that is, it's around that kind of uh, Chuck Berry position, I, uh, I would call it. Uh, it plays the 5th fret to 6th fret hammer on, on the G string. And and that's the kind of the same as the intro of this song. He plays around with those uh, licks from the intro a little bit later in the solo as well. But the lick here is uh, fifth to the sixth fret on the G string, hammer on, and then uh, fifth fret on the E string, eighth fret <laughs> on the B string, uh, fifth fret on the B string. So that those first few notes are and then eighth fret on the G string, eighth, seventh, fifth. So you can just practice those notes a couple of times. Because the next part is a quick repetition of those last three notes. You do sort of a pull off like out of it. And you uh, shorten the notes, I think uh, that's a triplet. That's the whole leg. So. The last part is so it's eighth, seventh, fifth uh, fret on the G string, then the seventh fret again on the G string, fifth fret on the G string to the seventh fret on the D string. So even slower. This is a great leg to learn for a couple of, uh, yeah, I think a couple of uh, the solos later on in the album uses sort of the similar, similar lick. And it's a cool lick to, to have in your own arsenal, of course. Next up. 
After that lick, he plays, and that is a bend, bend on the G string, 7th fret, and while you have that bend, you hit the 8th fret on the G, uh, B string a couple of times, and bend again. play exactly the same thing again from that cool lick. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Like that. Uh, the next part it goes down to the uh, the uh, major pentatonic position. Uh, I guess you're aware of that. If you play a minor pentatonic up here, if you just move it down three frets, it's a major pentatonic. And you can get all those kind of more, more country sounding licks out of that position. And that's where it plays. That's what it plays, yeah. Uh, it's a bend on the fourth fret on the G string. And then kind of mute it. And hit the fifth fret on the high E string. And you have that bend on the G string. So you, as I said, you have bent, let it down, pull off to the second fret, and hit the fourth fret on the D string there. Back to the second fret on the G string, and then you uh, do a couple of hammer-ons uh, and um, yeah, uh, hammer-ons on the D, fr uh, D string. 2nd, 4th fret to the 2nd fret on the G string. Real slow. So that lick is... Like that. So what he ends up playing there is actually like the first part of the solo. Because uh, he only plays it down three frets. So that's the exact same thing. It just plays it in uh, a major mode instead of a minor. Instead of... So if you have the A string ringing the whole time, it, it sounds, uh, you can really hear the difference there. Instead of... That's a real cool thing to do, uh, because the, the lick sounds already familiar, it's the same melodic shape of the uh, the notes is just transposed to a major key instead. So the listener is is really familiar with that lick. That's that's really cool technique to use actually. Let's see what it, where it goes next here. Back 
back to the minor pentatonic around the fifth fret here. And plays, I think it plays the G and B string on the seventh fret. A double bend there. Down to the fifth fret on the G string. Seventh fret. Fifth. To the D string, seventh fret. Let's listen to that again here. Yeah. I think that's what it plays. <laughs> like we said before. And then. That's the same as the beginning of that, so it's 5th, 6th fret on the G string, 5th fret on the E string, 8th on the B string, and 5th on the B string. And then you take the 8th fret on the B string, hit it again, and then hit it once more, and bend it up. Do uh, two bends there. And then he plays that leg again. Like we went through before. It sounds like it plays uh, one of those simultaneous uh, bends there. You bend the 8th fret on the B string and you also fret the 5th string on the uh, 5th fret on the E string to sort of a variation of that. I'm gonna check out here. Yeah. That unison band. And that's the same lick as we used before, where you, but instead of starting it like like that, you just go directly from, from that band. You're already on the note there. Do the same same rundown uh, that we did before. But you end it on a little vibrato on the 5th fret on the G string there. So it's... Real slow. Is uh, just like you did the unison bend there, you can do the unison bend there. So it, that's the seventh fret on the G string to the fifth fret uh, and the fifth fret on the B string. Do the same kind of bend there. Let it ring. That's what it plays, I think. And that just. Like that, 7th and 5th fret, uh, G string and D string. Uh, like that. That's what I think. <laughs> That's 
like this, uh, the intro. Uh, remember that? Uh, but instead of he plays uh, that quick rundown lick. So let's let's listen to it again here. So the first first part of that leg is that is you slide up to the sixth fret on the G string to the fifth fret on the E string fifth fret on the B string eighth fret on the B string bend up whole step and go down to the or yeah go down to the fifth fret on the E string. That's the first half of the lick. And then he plays the exact lick he plays before. So that's the exact like from uh, earlier in the solo, where you have the, those triplets uh, there, of course. So that that sort of solo uh, intro, <laughs> that solo section that kind of flirts with the intro section, that goes like this. Real slow. And then it goes up to uh, another uh, major thing here. And that is around the 12th fret this time. So 12th fret on the B string. Whole step bend and strike the uh, E string. So that's uh, <laughs> you'll recognize that bend. He uses that quite a lot here, like that. Uh, the same thing that he did uh, down there, he does uh, up there instead, so that's just an octave up from like that. So that is uh, the 11th and 10th fret on the G and B string respectively. And slide up to the 11th fret on the G string. Right? The solo here. does sort of, sort of that thing, uh, and I think it just plays fifth, uh, seventh fret on the uh, G and B string, and pull that off to uh, the fifth fret on only the G string. It sounds like. And then land on the seventh fret on the D string. That's kind of odd thing to play. It feels kind of like uh, it would be easier if you had bigger hands uh, than I have. Uh, kind of small hands. Because it's kind of clumsy in a way. <laughs> it sounds awesome, but, but it feels kind of clumsy. Let's see here. And then it continues with a, that same thing. 
<laughs> the same same kind of lick that we've been playing a lot in this solo. Um, <coughs> so <coughs> kind of like that, and that is just on the D and G string there, fifth, seventh, and fifth fret. <coughs> It's kind of hard to tell the last part, but I think it plays uh, after something like that. And that's it for uh, Your Love is Alright. Please subscribe and let's continue this next week. Bye.